Hello guys, uh, I figured I'd just do a quick video on the issue I'm having right now. And I figured it might be a little bit easier to show it in video over me just typing it out. Anyways, as you see, this is I'm using Steve's factory right now with my Blood Magic setup. And the problem I'm having is that I, well I taught the Steve's factory manager how to auto-craft my slates for me and pull it out of my altar. And uh, just to give a quick example of how it works here, I have this inventory cable in my crystal chest, which kind of represents the the chest is empty, and it doesn't need to do any type of job. So if we go ahead and just put, uh, oops, sorry, we put like a blank slate in my chest here, it's gonna informs the Seas Factory that it needs to do a job, which is making this blank slate. So it'll send the stone to my altar and pull out the blank slate as soon as it's made, and then put it in my gold chest here, as you can see. And this will work with the Tier 1 slate, the Tier 3 slate, the Tier 4 and Tier 5 and Tier 6. The only one it's not working with properly is the Tier 2 slate. So if I put a reinforced slate in here, it goes past the reinforced stage to imbued and it'll go all the way up to ethereal and then it just gets stuck, it won't take it out. So let me just show you what my Seas Factory thing looks like. I have been following a a YouTube video on how he kinda of, how this person set up his altar with this. And um this is I went and labeled everything too, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, I'll hold control here though, just so you could kind of see what it looks like without any labels on it. So we're going through a, a trigger to a flow. And then just to give an example, um, so for this will be for blank slates. So the condition is going to check my crystal chest. And if I have a blank slate in that crystal chest, it's and that's true, it's going to go to my second condition right here which is gonna tell it that it needs to that it my altar is auto crafting something so it needs to go to my blood altar it's gonna check my blood altar there for a blank slate and and when that's true it's gonna go to my first input which is right here and this is gonna pull the blank slate out of my altar which will then output it into my, it's going to output it into my gold chest, the blank slate. And I pretty much just copied those four things here for each slate, as you see. Um, so the blank one works, then viewed, demonic, and ethereal. So if we go to reinforced crystal, or sorry, the reinforced slate here, it's pretty much the, I mean, it's the exact same command. I haven't done anything different at all. Uh, the condition is to check the crystal chest for the reinforced slate. It will then check the altar, blood altar, for the reinforced slate. And then it's going to pull the reinforced slate from the altar. And then it's going to, it'll pull it into my gold chest, which is basically my stash chest. That's like my final, final like product chest that puts all the items into. And... Uh, I, I don't think this matters too much, but I do have another command node over here called job detector. This is basically here just to um, detect if there needs to be a job done, which is mainly just meant for the stone purposes of it. I have a, it's set to detect if there is, uh, if there is any slate in this crystal chest, because if it knows that there's any of these slates in the crystal chest, it's gonna know that it, it'll have to be true, and it'll know that it needs to get stone, which it'll get stone out of my iron, or, sorry, it'll let it know that it needs to get stone. So it'll put the stone, oh, it'll check the blood altar to see if it has stone in it, and if it doesn't have stone in the blood altar, it's gonna pull my inventory cable out of my crystal chest, which let, basically lets the, the thing know that the chest isn't empty anymore and that it needs to craft. It, it needs to craft my uh, slates for me. So it'll then pull the inventory cable out. It'll stash it in a, just like a regular chest. 
and then it's gonna take grab stone out of my iron chest right here and then it'll it's grabbing stone there and then it'll just store the stone into the altar so that way it has stone to make the slates and then this is uh, kind of similar I guess in a way it's basically once once this uh this note or once this condition is going be set to false if it if, if it can't tell that there's a slate in this crystal chest anymore then it knows that it needs to put my inventory cable back into my back into there so it's going to pull the inventory cable out of my temporary wooden chest and put it back into the crystal chest there and if there's anything on my altar still if any of those are on my altar still, it knows it just needs to clean the altar up and then put the remaining slates back into my stash, which will be my gold chest. Uh, anyways, let me show you an example now, though, of when I... Like, an example of what I think the problem is. I, I think this is Steve's factory issue, maybe. Uh, once again, I this is the first time I've ever messed with Steve's factory, so I'm not too familiar with it. I have came to the conclusion though this altar is just it's too fast for it to do a tier two slate. Um, this is a, this is the first time I've ever used a second altar too. As you see over here, this is kind of my this is my main altar. I use this to get blood essence into my system, and then it'll transfer the blood that it gets through the there over to this altar, which is meant just for like pure speed, just so I can craft fast. Anyways. I'm going to go and just downgrade this from tier 6 to tier 4. Uh, you can't see my T6 runes right here because I have them underground. So it does look kind of weird. Uh, also, I went and just pasted. This is the current runes I have in my current setup for tier 6. I have 13 acceleration runes, 35 dislocation, and 136 speed runes. Um, so let's go ahead and take out my speed rune here. This, oops. And this is going to downgrade my altar to tier 4. So we lost a lot of my speed upgrades now. So it's not going to craft fast as anywhere near as fast as it was before. And so let's go to my crystal chest here. Then we'll put my reinforced slate here. I'm going to try your cable go out because I know I need to craft reinforced slate. And if you look here, it's going it, to... Oh, server's lagging a little bit here. But it'll know that it needs to pull the reinforced slate out since it's, it's being made in the salter. So it's pulling the slate out, putting it in my gold chest. We're at 27 now. And. Oh. That witch hand is actually part of an ME problem, I think. I got my. I got a witch bonder set up that's. Exporting witch hands somewhere else, and I think we're on the same frequency. I need to set my thing a little bit higher. Yeah, I do apologize for this. The, I think that the, the server is lagging right now. It's always happens. You try to make a point. The, there's always something that happens. But yeah, as you see, I'm exporting stone to that iron chest from my ME system. Let's see. Yeah, this server's definitely lagging right now. Let's see this. But it it worked. It seems to work just fine. Is when I have when I have my altar downgraded from tier six to tier four and. As soon as I bring my altar back up and get all my speed upgrades again, it's like it can't register that there's a reinforced slate in the altar and that it knows that it needs to pull it out. And the thing I thought was strange about it, though, is if my altar is too fast, then how is it able to do a tier 1 slate, uh, which is a blank slate? Because a blank slate is made even faster than what a tier 2 slate is. Anyways, if you guys have any ideas what's going on, I'd appreciate your uh, responses on this. Alright, thanks.